Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, we are ready for the event. Houston ACR, this is Mission Control Houston. Houston Please ACR. call Station 4 Houston. voice check. Please call Station 4. Station, this is Houston ACR. How do you hear me? We hear you loud and clear. How do you hear us? Loud and clear. Hello from planet Earth, astronauts. I'm Emmanuel from Noggin, a learning service that helps kids grow big hearts, strong minds, and healthy bodies. In just a moment, you'll hear from an amazing group of scientists, explorers, and technologists, and they have some tough questions that they would like to ask. Take it away, kids. Hi, my name is Jitro. I'm five years old, and I'm fr from California. I have a question. Why astronaut go to space? That is a good question. Why do astronauts go to space? Well, one thing, we wouldn't be astronauts if we didn't go to space. But we go to space because we want to understand the universe. We want to be able to understand what it's like to live in other places, maybe off our planet someday. So that's why we're spending a lot of time on the space station. Hi, my name is Charlie and I'm from California. My question is, how do astronauts from different countries work together? Hi, Charlie. Thank you for a very good question. Actually, we are now in the International Space Station, meaning a lot of different countries working together for a great science. In fact, now American, Japanese, and Russian, we are living together, working together, sharing experience and cultures, and we are having a great time here. Hello, my name is Carter from Washington, D.C. My question is, um, how many minutes do you take to outer space? You know, Carter, it is incredibly fast to get to outer space. When we are on our rocket and those engines light, it only takes eight and a half minutes to get into space. But once we're in space, it can take a day or more to catch up to the space station where we are. So really quick to get into space, a little bit longer to get where we're going. Hi, my name is Nova. Hi, can you arm wrestle in space? Hey, Reggie, uh, that's a great question. I am uh, ready to fight today with Shannon, so I'll give you the arm wrestling in space. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready? I think I won that one. <laughs> Hi, my name is RJ. I live in New Jersey. My question is, how do you walk in space? RJ, it's really interesting. We don't actually walk in space when we're here because we're floating all the time. So usually we just use our arms to move about. And then when we get where we want to go, we'll tuck our feet under the handrails. Hi, my name is Adeline from Pennsylvania. My question is, how fast can you run in space? Adeline, thank you for a great question. In fact, in space, we will not actually run. We can ride, but we cannot go anywhere. So we only use the hand to go very slowly. But we are traveling about uh, uh, 17,000 <laughs> 17, miles per hour. So uh, if I slowly walk in space for one hour, that's uh, 17,000 miles. That's very fast. Hi, my name is Jody. I live in Connecticut and I'm five years old with my family. My question is, how do
do you stay connected to your friends and your family when you're in space? Now, Journey, that is a great question because it's so important to stay connected to your family and friends. Here on the space station, we're very lucky because we have email and we have the telephone. So we can call down to our family and friends pretty much any time we want, and then we get email. Um, also, occasionally, we can have video conferences so we can see our friends and family, and that's really nice to do. Hi, my name is Harley from Brooklyn, New York. My question is, if you get a boo-boo, how do you see the doctor or dentist? See the doctor or dentist. Hey, Harley, thanks for the question. Uh, if I get something wrong with our body, of course, our doctors, we can talk to them through the uh, satellite uh, connections, but each one of us are trained as a medical officer, so we can treat by ourselves. We are trained to be a doctor in space. Hi, my name is Emma. Can I show us something that we can do up in space, but not in Earth? You bet. Now let's see. I think Suichi can hold me up by one finger. I'm just going to lay down here. Can't do that on Earth. Hi, my name is Ian, and I'm from Ohio. And my question is, what do the stars look like from outer space? Yeah, and then thanks for the question. Stars look exactly uh, from the ground, except we see it very, very clear because there's no air. So uh, we see the stars. And at night, we can enjoy the, the skies with the full stars. That's very, very beautiful. Hi, my name is Liam. I am in Vermont. My first question is for the astronauts. What does the sun look like from space and how hot is it? Liam, the sun looks very bright and big from space, kind of like it does from the ground. So we always wear sunglasses when we look at the sun because we don't want to damage our eyes, just like you should do on the ground. How hot is it? It is very, very hot. In space, you will get a sunburn very quickly if you spent time in the sun. Hi, my name is Fit and I'm five years old. old. I want to be an astronaut firefighter. Or, or, is there any fires in space? Hey, Fitz, first of all, thanks for uh, you being like to be an astronaut. We are waiting for you. By the way, in the fire, in the space station, that's a very, very bad thing. So we always be very, very careful not to uh, put anything on fire. But in case something wrong, we are both trained to be a firefighter in space, meaning we can suppress fire, we have our own fire uh, extinguisher, and we have our own gas mask. So we are ready to fight against the fire. Hi, my name is Landon. I'm from Indiana. My question is, how dark is space? How dark is space? Landon, that's a very qu good question. You know, space is really dark, except when you're in the sun, and then it's really light. So it's kind of like night and day on the Earth, where the day is bright and night can be really dark, except I think it's a lot darker and the night side in, in space. Mm -hmm. Although we do see lots of stars, so that helps. Hi, my name is Angela. I'm eight years old and I'm from New York City. My question is, can you see planets from the spaceship? Hey, Angela, thanks for the great question. Actually, uh, this is the right time to answer this question because we can see the Jupiter and Saturn very close by, and uh, it's actually really bright, and uh, we enjoy watching the planet as the uh, same as the, we enjoy watching stars and Earth. And the moon. And the moon. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Sally and I'm from New York. My question is, what is the coolest experiment you've done in space and why is it important to do in space and not back here on Earth? You know, we do so many ex uh, experiments in space, it's really hard to choose what the coolest one is, but the ones I like are the ones on the human body. And we do, um, we've got one going on now that's looking at nutrition and how nutrition might help us in space. We all know it's really important to eat your vegetables on the ground, and so they're looking at how, if we eat really good food up in space, how healthy we can be. Yeah, I can uh, give you one example. I've been working with the protein crystal experiment for a long time. Here in space, the protein crystal make a very clear uh, crystals here. So that will help us understand how to cure the disease on Earth. Hi, my name is Terrence. And I'm from Pennsylvania. My question is, can you flip upside down? Can we flip upside down? You bet. And all the way back over again. My name's Nation, and how do you build robots in our space? Hey Nathan, thank you very much. Yes, so we are using a lot of robots, and uh, usually we use robots. And uh, eventually, and uh, we go to the different planets, uh, definitely we will build the robots outside the space station or outside the rockets, because it's very dangerous outside the rockets. So you will see. And we'll probably use robots to build robots, okay. which will be really neat. Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm from Kentucky. My question is, what is the temperature like in space? Kelly, you know, sometimes it's really hot if you're in the sun, it's really hot. And if you're in the shade where it's dark, it is really cold. So you've got these huge extremes in space, hotter than you can stand or so cold that you would freeze. I'm Sophia and I'm from Connecticut and my question is, what does space junk look like from your window in space? Hey, Sophia, I uh, think uh, that's a very good question. We always, always be very cautious about the space junk. Actually, NASA is uh, observing from the ground to make sure our space station does not hit the space uh, junk. And personally, I've never seen the, uh, the space junk out of the, of the window because whenever the big junk comes to the space station, NASA will change the, the position of the space station that we will not hit each other. Hi, my name is Galliana and I am from New York. My question is, have you ever seen a shooting star or a meteor shower from space? How does it look like from up there? Yes, we do see shooting stars and meteor showers. And the interesting thing about watching meteor showers from the space station is you actually have to look down to the ground to see it because we're above the atmosphere and those meteors are burning through the atmosphere, which is below us. So we look at down at Earth to see the meteors. Hello, my name is Faith. I live in Texas. I have a question for you. Why do you travel to the moon? Hey, howdy, Texas. We are from Texas as well. Hey, back to your question. Yeah, the moon. I think that's our next destination after this International Space Station. Moon have a lot of natural resources we need and also the good place to observe the outer space. And NASA recently announced the next generation uh, astronaut team to help develop the preparation for the, the moon program. So please watch out for the Artemis program. And uh, watch out, we'll be going to moon very soon.
Wow. Thank you so much for those truly wonderful answers. From all of us here at Noggin, we thank you for your amazing service. And to all the young, aspiring astronauts, scientists, and adventurers with big dreams, shoot for the stars because you can reach them. Thank you and goodbye. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you to all the participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. And uh, for Suichi, when you have a moment, I have some stowage traffic for you. <laughs>